back to our ginger jar challenge we've actually getting a chance to pit fire them so this is all new to me we're going to do a pit firing for the first time so we'll have a pit and we're going to film start to finish filling it up setting it on fire so we'll put the camera on the pit and I'll talk to you as we do it like I say I've no real idea what I'm doing <laughs> on other YouTube videos where we have a pit and put a bit of sawdust in the bottom And then it's really, it's just stuff you can burn. So we'll have, uh, we'll have a bit of paper as well. Uh, it's just various combustible materials. Seaweed. And orange peel. Tea bags, which I'll take out and just spit my tea on. Okay, and then the top of coffee grounds and other bits and bobs. Right, next important bit, the pots. Get these fellas in. So they're wrapped in copper to give them a bit of colour as well. stuff to make try and make some colours. We've got some off cuts of the clear which has got chrome in them. We'll see what effect that has. We have coffee grounds and more tea. Coffee grounds We have the old faithful banana skins. No idea what they do. Give it a go. I'm not going to use the tape pills. <laughs> yeah, other chemicals we're going to try, which I'm not exactly sure. I know copper does, but this is magnesium. I'm just going to have a sprinkle of that on. Let's see, I don't actually know what that does, but I know copper carbonate will get. Uh, Greeny blue copper. Plenty on. And then we'll 
stuff that will burn round it. More seaweed. Bury it. Now we need more. Right, we'll see if we can get this fella to, to burn, eh? We're going to look after this fire and we'll come back shortly. See if we can keep it going. We'll come back when we're going to put the lid on it and that.
Right, we'll let that burn. I think it's burning canny, isn't it? Yeah. How are you doing with your job then? It's horrible, isn't it? So, we have, we've burnt some stuff, we're now just waiting for the flames to die down, so it's just the hot embers, and then we're going to cover it with a metal plate, seal the edges, and then we'll leave it, so put the camera back on there, and you can watch us cover it up when the flames is gone, so that's it. Right, pit fire in opening time, 24 hours later, see what we've got. Oh, it's smashed. We've got one, we've got a fatality. We've got a fatality, you oh dear. Oh, look, got yellow on it as well. Ooh, that's hot still. Yeah, I thought as much. So that bit, that's where the joint was. Oh, that's hot. Woo! <laughs> 
That's a toasty. What that is? Oh God! I let that cool off a bit. In two bits. So the yellow, I'm I'm thinking, is off the banana. Shimmer, shimmer, smashed. Oh, that one survived. We'll uh, we'll do another video bit about it when we clean them up, see what they look like when they've been washed. Okay, continue with our pit firing. So we've got them out, we had a disaster, so the big one, it's now cleaned. So I've got some interesting colours on it. So the plan is with that we're going to glue it back together and then uh, spray it with acrylic. The smaller of the pots, which we have here, that's cleaned and we're now going to finish this with some beeswax. So we'll get the camera zoomed in a little bit for you. About there. So we can see what's going on. Like I said, it's been scrubbed and washed. Got some interesting colours. And we're going to try the beeswax on it. So I think we'll start on this bit. I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with this. I assume you rub some wax on it. Shine. Definitely. Right. Well, I'll I'll continue on with this, and we'll recommence the video on when it's all polished, and give you another look at it. So, we'll see you in a second. Okay. Update. And the final piece of our pit firing. So, we've finished the small vase. Now this has been beeswax. Got slightly carried away. That bit went a bit black but we've still got some nice colour and you get like a soft sheen. Probably need a little bit more wax putting on that. So that's a small one. The larger vase, which is just about done, so we've uh, we've glued the two pieces together, so you got a nice finish on it. Now this has been lacquered, so it's a lot shine way. It's a bit shinier, so we've got that. And it's lid. So that's our pear. So that's our ginger jar pit fire challenge completed. I'll just move the camera up so I'm in it a little bit. So it's been a bit of a marathon challenge this one. Took a long time to finish it. Uh, merely getting somewhere to pit fire the, the pot. So, but we, we did it. I'm 
quite taken with pit fire. I didn't think I would be, but you get it right, you get some really lovely effects. So thanks for watching all these parts in the ginger jar challenge and look forward to seeing you in the next Midford Pottery Challenge. See you all later. Cheers. <laughs>